Okay, I want to show you that you can have both a vector mask and a regular mask and they can work in conjunction with each other. So quickly, let me show you what I've done here. All right. I am going to delete the, the masks and let me go back. I'll show you the path that I created. All right. So what I've done is I've made a path around the smooth areas. I'm going to adjust it just a touch so that so that we have all of the hair inside that mask. And then I'm going to create a vector mask. So I'll hold my command key down and click on add a layer mask. So there I've got a vector mask. And it's perfect except where the hair is. So this is where a regular mask can come in handy. All right. So I want to um, I want to click off of that for a moment and come back to my layers. And I'm going to grab a selection tool and just make a selection. around that part and add a mask. All right. Then I'm going to command click on my vector mask, which will select all of that. And then making sure that this mask is selected, I am going to fill that with white. And then I'll drop that selection and I'll come in and, and use the select menu and refine the mask. All right. And so I'm going to turn on my smart radius, take it up to about one or so, and just start painting around the hair there and click OK to make that a layer mask. It looks like I need to work on it just a little bit more. So we will go into the refine mask once again and make sure that we get all of that, that white so it, it, uh, it comes in. We can shift the edge just a little bit if we want. We can decontaminate the, the colors a little bit. And let's do new layer with a layer mask. So we can throw that one away. And so now we have the best of both worlds. We have the regular mask doing the hard work around the hair using the refine edge function. And we have the vector mask doing the nice smooth work uh, around the rest of the image that we wanted to remove.